Hi, and welcome to our video on signed documents. Before we begin, it's important to note the difference between signed documents and our paperless check-in module. Paperless check-in lets guests complete a registration form via email or SMS before arrival, with an option to use the tablet during check-in. Signed documents allows unlimited signed documents to be emailed for agreements like annual site contracts, pet policies, or facility rental forms. Even better, they are super easy to set up. Use the search menu to find contact templates. You can search for existing e-signature documents here or add new. Choose e-signature document, name it, and assign who it's for. For instance, bookings. If multiple signatures or countersigning is needed, enable these options. If this form must be signed before check-in, select yes. This is only available when set to bookings. In the email content tab, write your email and insert the field for e-signature. In the body content tab, write the terms and conditions, then save. To send this to a specific booking, we can add new, contact, email document for signing, then select our contact template. Our guests would then receive our email with this clickable link to view the T's and C's and then sign. If required, we can add additional areas for our guests to fill in using custom fields. Simply go to add custom field for e-signature, write your question, group it, and select the response type. For instance, free text or checkbox. You can also select if you wish to add this field in for other signed documents and save. See Knowledge Base for more information on custom fields. Guests will now see and complete these fields when signing. Staff are notified once a document is signed with an option to countersign if needed. On the booking view page, you can see which documents have been signed and review the document. You can also check if anything's been signed on your due for arrival list by adding column e-signature. This way, staff can quickly and easily see that this guest has an animal and therefore should have signed the form. Just like normal emails, you can also send these in bulk. You can even automate document sending through automated contact, such as sending a pet policy when a booking includes an animal. You can also trigger this automation for activity tickets. See Knowledge Base for more information on setting up auto contact. Finally, you can also go to your e-signature page to view signed documents or check any you may be waiting on. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Be sure to explore our Knowledge Base for more helpful guides and FAQs.